This unit is your standard unit, known as a superior unit. It's pretty standard in the industry. We're going to be looking at this area right here. Now again on the spring packs, if you were to run this unit and, this, and the unit is running real slow and you've had a unit out in the field, say for a few years, and you notice the unit slowed down on you, odds are it's work hardened and it's gone over tuned. And that means these springs have just stiffened up over time. So what we're going to do here is you will take off a few springs, and these, this one's definitely tuned what we call half wave or rectified because it's got thin springs. That's, that's a dead giveaway. So you're going to be at 60 hertz on this unit. So basically, if this unit had slowed down on you, these had stiffened up, and you're probably a little bit higher on your frequency, so you need to take a few springs off, and that will speed it up. So the way to test it is you'll bolt, on these bolts, you'll break one loose as the bowl is running, and if the bowl were to speed up, again, you know that you're over tuned. That means you've got to get some springs off, and you've got to get the unit back into its, in its right frequency. So basically, if you break it loose and, it's, and it's, it speeds up, you're over tuned. You break it loose and it slows down, you're under tuned. So then you'd have to add springs. Typically, if you've had a unit for a few years in the field and you break the bolt loose and it slows down, it's a dead indicator that something on the unit is broken. You probably have a broken cross arm or a toe clamp because most units, 99% of them are going to work hard in the field. Now typically at our corporation, there's two types of way people tune units when they leave. They tune them just a little bit over or they tune them a little bit under. Here at Feeding Concepts, we tune it a little bit under so as it work hardens, it speeds up. That way you can take springs off. A lot of, a lot of companies do that and they put it on tuning so if it speeds up, you can turn the, turn the knob down and keep it going. In this particular case, um, if you're over-tuned and it's from another company, they do tune them so that they go out right on frequency and then in about a couple years it slows down, serviceman has to come out and take off a spring. It's real easy to do. Four bolts, you can take the spring off, put it back on, tighten it back up. Key thing is to get everything tight in the unit so that it's really tight. You need to get on there with a the cheater bar and crank them down. Everything on the unit has to be tight when you tune these units. Okay, so now we're going to talk about actually tuning the unit. So this particular unit, we're going to look at this spring pack. Now, what you'll want to do is you're going to have to bust a bolt loose on the top and the bottom while the, while the unit's running. Now, I'm going to go ahead and turn the unit on, and then we're going to back up a little bit and kind of see what happens in the bowl. As I bust these loose, you're going to see this unit either speed up or slow down. That's going to determine where you're at on your tuning. Um, if you have a variable frequency control, you can do it without that, but this is, an, is the old-fashioned way of doing it. it. saves you about the $1,500 it take you to get the variable frequency control. So this is the way that you do it old school, and you can do this any maintenance procedure you can do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the unit on now. I'm going to start busting some of this loose so you won't be able to hear me talk while that's going on, but you'll be able to see the unit slow down and speed up here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the unit on. Okay, so the first thing before you do any tuning, you're going to want to make sure that every bolt on the unit is tight. If there's not a tight bolt on it, you're going to get a false reading, and then it's going to run good for a while, and it's going to slip up and not work. So you're going to have to get in here with a cheater bar. You're going to need something big to do it. While the unit is running, and we're going to cut away to a picture here after I break this loose, but while the unit is running, and you bust this loose, you'll be able to see the tuning changes. Get a good hold of the unit, get on there with a cheater bar, you're going to bust that loose and you'll start here the bowl starts to slow down there. So this is starting to give me an indication right now. Usually there's this different wrench for the other side. Here the bowl starts to die. The reason that bowl is dying is we have a unit that is under tuned. And that's okay if it's running at an under tuned level. You hear that unit slowing down. So what you have here, you have a unit that is under tuned but running. That's really a good position to be in. If you're under tuned, just a little bit under frequency, if the springs stiffen up, it's going to speed up. So what I'm going to do here is um, kind of show you each one of these. When you take all these off, you'll take the springs or spacers in between. If you had to add a spring to this to speed it up, you'd slap one more on it, tighten it all back down. You get on that with a cheater bar and you really got to put some torque to it. These have to be super tight for these units to run. If anything is loose on the unit, it's going to give you a false reading and you're not going to get anywhere. So basically this unit's right where it needs to be. It is just under tuned and it's got good speed and you'll see in the videos when they speed up and down. Okay, so I've got all the bolts loosened up and pulled out and this is a little tricky part here. You're going to take this out, take these bolts out. And this is on this particular style unit. 
I'm just gonna let those hang there. I'm gonna pull this forward. So you can see this unit's been in the field for a little while. What you got here when I take this off, all these are spring steel. Um, one good trick in the industry is when you take them off, if you've got a unit that's slowed down on you, hasn't sped up, you want to take each one of these, hit them against the table. Believe it or not, if they're cracked, they can be cracked and still held together and you just can't see it, but when you bang them on the table, they'll break right in two if they're broken. It'll just finish the job. So these are good springs and believe it or not, you don't ever want to replace the springs on a unit if they're good like this because work hardened springs like this have been in the field for a while, they're the best in the world because they're not gonna work harden anymore. You know, once they've been in the field for a few years, that they're, they're as good as they're gonna be. They're tempered, they're not gonna get, you know, work hard anymore, they're either gonna break or they're gonna work. And that's the great thing about it. So as I take these two off, you're gonna see that there's a spacer in between each one. It's a small spacer. You can see it here from the side view. See how that spaces each one of them out? You need that. If you don't have those spacers, those springs can't move. If you ever want to look at these under a strobe light, it's scary. They're really moving. You need that gap. You need that gap from moving. So that's how you basically take them on and off. You want to make sure that you've got everything together here, that your spacers are in between. When you put these springs back on, you want to make sure you have spacers, springs between, squared up. Tricky part on this particular unit, and you'll see me get these all back together here. This one uh, been in the field for a while, missing a spring spacer, you notice that? So, and we're gonna go without it because it does mount, it's okay, it's mounting to the front. So, you can get away with not having one where your last spring is. So anyways, we're gonna put this back on. Um, that's the way it came off, this unit's real close to tuned. So when you take your springs off and on, you wanna try to make them equally so that every spring pack is kind of balanced, doesn't have to be perfect. This helps from stopping to have dead, unit, dead, uh, dead spots in the unit. So, um, this is the tricky part, getting it back on. Um, you got to keep those spacers in line. And you got to really, what I always try to do is just get them like this together and get them up here in the front first because you got the bolts that hold it. Get them started and just kind of force those in, twist them. And again, you can see it's giving me a little bit of trouble. Just got to kind of square all those up. That's going to be your toughest part getting those back in. Kind of put some pressure on that. You can let those go. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. I'm going to hold that top. So, I mean, it's kind of a little bit of a juggling act. You want to keep these all together. Keep those up there so they can't move and then keep a little bit of pressure here to get your bolts going through those holes. Okay, so we're running now. You're going to hear me start to crank this down. You're going to hear it start to take off. Here it comes. Hear that power starting to come back in the unit. All I'm doing is cranking these springs down. Here comes the power. And again. Cedar bar back on that unit. Get them tight. You can hear that unit getting faster and faster. It's under tuned. And the reason we know it's under tuned is because as we crank it down, it's speeding up. Here, getting louder. So basically, this unit right now is real close to where I'd, where I'd want to put it back in the field at. If this was a brand new unit, you can see me really getting on that. I'm just going to set my wrench on the end of the unit. And that's what you want. You see how that's moving? Good movement. Up in the bowl, you're going to see that too. So you've got the reserve power. If this is a brand new unit, I would send it out just like it is now. With this tuning, we're running about 55 on the dial. It's under tuned. It's going to speed up if it was new springs. If this unit had been out in the field for a while, I might add one more spring to it just to get a little bit more power out of it. But other than that, you can see the parts moving around inside the bowl up here. Look around the top. See that's a nice good movement of the bowl. You got reserve power, the unit's tuned. That's what you're looking for. And you're looking for that's about the right sound. You don't want any hammering. And um, basically that's how you tune in back here on this coil. On this coil again. This coil wasn't running where it's close. We've got a good gap. If we were really 
too close, you'd hear a hammering sound. That's what you want to avoid. That coil's running nice and cold. It's got a lot of power, and that's what you're looking for in the unit. Hi guys, thanks for watching our video. I'm the owner of Feeding Concepts, John Graham. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. If you have any questions or you want any other information, please leave it in the comment section. We'll try to provide it. Again, thanks for watching our video and have a great day.